How is XG Boost different from GBM, the gradient boosting algorithm that came before it? Today I focus on their differences in minimizing the training loss. Both GBM and XG Boost build greedy forward stage-wise additive ensemble models. They restrict the function estimate to be a sum of base learners. I'll focus on using decision trees as base learners. At every stage, they build the best tree to minimize the current total loss on the training set. Depending on the form of loss function, training loss minimization could be very difficult. For this, GBM and XG Boost took two different paths. GBM replaces training loss with respect to the model target, with squared loss with respect to negative gradient of the loss in function space. In this way, any differentiable loss could be handled with a regression tree algorithm. XG Boost directly minimizes the training loss, with the actual loss approximated by its Taylor expansion to the second order in function space. After that, both algorithms grow a new tree to minimize their own objective. Recall that the tree with J leaves split samples at root into J disjoint regions and all the samples at the leaf get the same constant prediction. At the end of the day, the best leaf prediction for GBM is the average of the gradients of all samples at the leaf, and the best leaf prediction for XGBoost is the sum of gradients over sum of hashes of all samples at the leaf.